Hi Stampin' Friends, happy Friday. It's time for another Friday fun day and the weekend is starting. And I hope it's nice wherever you are. It is uh, blowing a little cold right now, but it was sunny earlier and I was thankful for that because it was supposed to be raining and this was the morning that I take my sister grocery shopping so we missed the rain and it was pleasant while we were out and about so um, I'm always thankful when that happens and that it's not pouring rain so I've got a pretty card to share today using the um, dragonfly garden stamp set and let me just grab my iPad and get this. There I am. All right. So I can see if anybody comes on and comments. I will be sharing this over to my YouTube channel. I do live videos every Friday and Tuesday. So on Fridays, I'm here on Facebook Live and I share to YouTube. And then I do just the opposite on Tuesdays. I'm live on YouTube um, at five o'clock Pacific time there. And I share my video to Facebook. So you can find me in either place and hopefully catch me live. But if you don't, you can always catch the replay. So I would just love it if you are on YouTube, if you would subscribe to my channel, if you are here on Facebook, please hit the like button and set your notifications um, so that you will be notified when I go live. And you can do that in either place. So on YouTube, it's the little bell. And on Facebook, you just go in, I think there's three little dots that you go into and that's where you can make your um, choices there if you how you want to be notified of things all right so I just was feeling in a fun mood so I put my cute little um, ladybug ears on today all right let me get this flipped around and we can get started All right. I'm waiting for it to pop up there on my iPad so I can see what you're seeing. All right, here is the address to my shopping site if you'd like to shop with me. And there is the host code for March. When you shop with me and spend at least $35 before shipping, um, then the following month I will send you a little thank you gift. If you shopped and spent $150 or more, then don't use that code because you'll earn hostess rewards of your own and I will still send you a thank you gift. All right, so this is the um, focus of the card today. The Dragonfly Garden, it's really pretty. It is a um, red rubber stamp set. There's two different dragonflies and it coordinates with this handy dandy punch, which punches out those butter or those dragonflies. Plus it also punches out a smaller one. And then it's got these pretty flowers and some little dragonflies and nice sayings. This right here um, kind of watercolors in the wings. So if you don't want to um, color in the wings, that makes it really quick and easy. All you do is ink that up and stamp it and then turn around and stamp it the other way. It is going to give you that kind of watercolor um, outside of the lines type effect. All right, so I'll be using those. I am going to use the fluttering by just to say hi because I thought that was a cute saying to go along with the dragonfly and that is from Hippo Happiness. 
I am using the gorgeous papers that go along with the um, Dragonfly Suite. So if you love these papers, you might want to order them before they are gone. Dandy Garden, because the new catalog, the new annual catalog will be coming out next month. So if you have shopped with me this year, you will be receiving a catalog that will be mailed out directly from the company because I pay to have that done. And it will be going to my customers that have shopped with me this year. So, um, yeah, so if you have shopped with me, be on the lookout for that catalog sometime later in April. And then the catalog will go live May 4th. So it's much earlier this year that the annual catalog goes live. Hi, Jennifer. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining me. Well, I can see your name at least, so that makes me happy. And um, anyway, I'm using these pretty papers and I'm also using the layering circles dies and I am going to use this embossing folder, painted texture 3D embossing folder. All right, so I'm starting off with a card base that measures five and a half by eight and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter. And I'm just going to give that a burnish there on the edge so that it will stay closed a little better. And this is Blackberry Bliss, this color, and it's one of the colors that is listed on the back of the paper package. I always love that they list all the colors that they've used so that you can coordinate what you're doing. I'm also going to use this gorgeous Blackberry Bliss ribbon, and this is actually in the ice cream suite uh, right now. So if you're looking for it, that's where you can find it. I have got a piece of white for the inside, and I have a, another piece of white that I'm gonna be using as a layer on the front, and then a piece of Mossy Meadow, and this is the piece that I'm going to be embossing. So I'm gonna leave that out for right now. I also have a piece of vellum and another scrap of white there. So these are the pieces I'm gonna play with right now. And I think we'll start with this little piece of white because that's what I'm going to stamp my dragonfly with. Hi, Maria. Thanks for joining. If you guys feel so inclined, I would love it if you shared my video to your page. And maybe we can interest some other people to get on the stamping wagon. All right, so I inked that up with Tuxedo Black Memento ink. Now, before I stamp it down, and I may want to ink it up again, what did I do with my punch? Here it is. Something to keep in mind is how your punch is laid out. So when I put my paper in, if I have a bigger piece that I put in like this, it's gonna punch that little dragonfly out also. I don't care if it catches some of that little one, and it's best to turn it over here so you can kind of see where you're punching. You also want your paper to have enough of an edge over here that you can hang on to or you can stick a piece of um, sticky note on there to make yourself a handle if it doesn't. But anyway, you kind of want to stamp according to how your punch is laid out. If I stamped my dragonfly, if I had a bigger piece and I stamped it up here on the top of that piece of paper, that would be awkward when I went to go punch it out because then I would have something down here I would have to cut off. So I hope that makes sense. 
So I'm just going to huff on my my um, stamp since I inked it up, but I didn't stamp it right away just to moisten that ink back up. And there we go. And what was that on my stamp? Oh, there was a little doodah on my stamp that put a doodah on my wing. But you know what? I'm going to have vellum over this, so that's not going to show. So I'm not even going to fuss about it. All right. So now I've got my blends here, and I have the light and dark um, Blackberry Bliss, which is the same color as the card base, and I have the light and dark Misty Moonlight, which is one of the other colors that is listed on the back of the paper. And I'm just actually going to do just some kind of um, random coloring here. You can see the veins in the wings. But I'm not even going to get that fussy about it because I really just want some color in here. Um, I'm just going to kind of even mix it up because I'm going to have vellum over the top of this. So any detail coloring is not going to show. So there's no point in even going into detail with it, but just laying out some pretty color here. You will be able to see the color a little bit from the side because the vellum will be popped up a bit. But it just doesn't need to be anything fancy at all. I just kind of wanted to have a mix of the color in there. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, I don't think I'm even going to use the light, um, Misty Moonlight. I'm going to take the light Blackberry Bliss and blend this together here. And I kind of like when it picks up that blue, it turns into sort of another shade of purple in there. Tula, no, no. My dogs were doing so good, I've gone back to my regular um, video schedule, and they were being so good until this week, and now they're being naughty because I'm not just paying every second of attention to them. Right now, Tula is, um, she's chewing on a tag on my, my quilt on my bed, and Lacey is in bothering uh dad's shoes so they're two of i don't know what todd's doing he might be being a good boy but lacy and tula are not being good <laughs> but dad is on his way home i think so hopefully he will get here soon to keep them out of trouble all right, so see, even though I didn't do any fussy coloring there, it still looks pretty. I kind of think it does. Okay, but like I said, it's not even really going to show that much. So I can go ahead and put this in the punch and punch it out. Line it up where I want it here. It's a dragonfly. All right. Now then, I have my piece of vellum. And let me clean off my stamp here. Oh, 
Play C. No, no. They're looking at me like I'm not doing nothing. Naughty kids. Okay. So I'm going to ink the dragonfly up now with Versamark, with the watermark ink. It's a thicker, like embossing ink, clear. So you're not even going to see it once I stamp it down. But first, I just wanna take my little powder tool here. This one happens to be from um, EK Tools. It's just full of baby powder. And I'm gonna brush off my vellum so that after I stamp that ink down, and put my um, embossing powder on it, it won't, the embossing powder won't be sticking everywhere where I don't want it. And it will do that, it'll pick up your fingerprints, um, the paper will, it will, um, I mean it could just have any random thing on there, static. Okay. And I'm just doing gold embossing powder here, so it's going to be beautiful. So there you can kind of see it. And then I need to zap that with my heat tool to melt that powder and set it. Just putting the powder back into the jar so it doesn't go flying everywhere. And now it will be a little bit noisy here from my heat gun. I always love the magic of seeing this when it melts. And gold in particular is always so pretty. There it goes, all done. And I like to just give that a second before I punch it out to make sure it won't, um, that it's dried good and won't smear. So in the meantime, I'm gonna take my piece of Mossy Meadow. Now this is cut at three and three quarters by five. And I'm going to put it into this painted texture embossing folder. This is a 3D embossing folder, so it gives really great texture. And I'm just going to run it through my machine. When you run it through your machine, you can feel the beveled edge up here where the hinge is. You want to send that end through your machine first. Doesn't matter, you know, if you're using an electric machine or one that you hand crank. It's just best to send that one through, um, in through the machine first. Okay, I'll be right back. Right, so here it is, and you can see how textured that is now. I'm gonna bring in a blending brush and my Mossy Meadow stamp pad, which is the same color as the paper. And I'm just going to um, go over that a little bit to highlight that embossing. I'm not gonna press down real hard because I don't want to put a ton of ink on the paper. I just want it to pick up those raised edges so that you can, you know, so it will define it a little bit better. And I'm not 
really changing the color of the paper since I'm using the same ink. I'm just making sure that I'm hitting all those nooks and crannies there of that embossed image. Now, if you wanted to give this a little bit more of a vintage sort of look, you could go around the edges of this and make them all a lot darker, but that wasn't my intention this time. I hope you can see how it's just picking up and giving that more definition now. I think we're almost done here with that. Now I will bring this dragonfly in here and punch him out. And it's going to, you know what, I'm going to snip off the top of this vellum because there's no point in wasting it. Vellum is kind of precious, I think. No, leave me a handle though. And there's still a piece there I can use for something. So I'm just getting it lined up where I want it here. There we go. And now I have lost my, here it is. I'm always losing my parts and pieces. Okay. So this is going to go over the top and you can see that you can't really see that coloring I did. That's why I didn't want to get too involved. And if you want, you can always color on the back of the vellum also. But I'm going to be lifting the vellum up, so I didn't really feel it was necessary to um, do that. I'm going to attach the top piece here of vellum to that one with just a little liquid glue. And I'm putting it right down the middle where the body is. And one thing with vellum, a lot of times as your adhesive is, will show through, so you have to kind of put it in places where it won't show. Now, this dragonfly that I chose has a solid body already when you stamp it out. The other one, the body's open so you can color it. Um, and then the wings have a little bit different design on it than that one. Plus, once you do this with liquid glue, you can scoot this top piece into place. You don't have a lot of wiggle room here because this glue dries super fast, but it, you have some wiggle room more than if you were using um, like a tape runner or something. All right, so I'll just let that dry. And then I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on the inside of the card. From the stamp set, I've pulled out the pretty kind of, to me that looks like wildflowers. I think they're daisies and stuff, but just kind of looks like wildflowers. And I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss, which is the same color as the card base. And I'm going to ink this up. I'm thinking that it sounds like it's pouring down rain now. And the wind is blowing. 
it's a storming. Okay, I'm just turning my paper sideways because this is a long stamp and it's easier. I just think that looks so delicate and pretty. Okay. And then for the greeting or the sentiment, I'm bringing in the Mossy Meadow, which is this color. And I'm gonna stamp the um, fluttering by just to say hi. go ahead and get that put on the inside I don't know about you guys but I am ready for it to be spring when we do have the nice days it's like I told my husband I just I think, oh, it's just, I said, I don't know if you get a feeling like when it's starting to be nice wet weather, but I have like this physical feeling and it's, it's a good feeling and I just want to be able to get outside and do things and do fun things. And then I remember that we still have to wear masks and all that stuff, but Hopefully things will, they're getting better. The numbers are definitely getting better. I just wanna be able to get out and do some things this summer. Okay, so I have cut my white piece an eighth of an inch bigger than that green piece. So the white is cut at three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And I can just go ahead and attach that to the white. I wanted to make sure that I had a little bit more of that Blackberry Bliss border showing. It's such a pretty color. There we go. All right, now let's bring these pieces in. So I have two patterned uh, pieces of the patterned papers from the paper collection and I am going to be cutting them out with the layering circles and I've chosen um, two sizes of the scalloped circles so I am going to do the bigger one out of this piece here and I'm just going to hold it in place there with some um, what's that called? Post-it tape. <laughs> and then this one, I really kind of wanted that yellow flower or dandelion or whatever that is there showing just a touch. I didn't really want it in the middle, or do I? Yeah, maybe I do want it more towards the middle. All right, I'm gonna put it right there. And now I can run both of these through my machine at the same time. Okay, I'll be right back.
All right. So I'm just going to use my liquid glue again. And I'm mindful of the pattern here because I don't want my flowers to be going upside down. So I'm just going to, and I'm not centering this either. So I'm going to put it kind of right there. And then this next one I'm going to pop up. So I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back. That blue would be pretty on top of it also. All these colors go well together, so there's really no wrong when you are combining your patterns. And then again, I want that dandelion. or Well, I think it looks like a dandelion. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Maybe it's supposed to be a mum. And I kind of want it more down towards the bottom side of the other circle. So I'm going to do that like that. And now I can bring, well, I think I will wait on my dragonfly still. And I'm going to bring in that, hi Sue, I'm going to bring in this Blackberry Bliss ribbon that is so gorgeous. I try to keep this little plastic just so I can put it back on and it keeps the ribbon in place on the spool. A rubber band works too. I'm just going to cut a little bit off here to wrap around this part of the card because I want to make sure I put it on before I attach it to the card base. And I just need to put a little adhesive along the sides there to have something to stick the ribbon to. And I better bring in my silicone sheet in case I need to set it down. All right. Looks pretty straight, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to go right over the top of that ribbon that I put down and put my adhesive all the way around. Now I can put it to the card base. And now I'm going to make a bow. So I'm just going to do a finger bow here, and I'm doing a double bow. This ribbon is so pretty. And I'm going to attach that with some glue dots.
somehow I got one of the glue dots stuck to my fingernail instead of the back of the bow. So let's get that on there. There we go. Okay, now then, I'm gonna pop up that dragonfly. Hi, Tula. She came skidding in here. <laughs> Are just going to have this dragonfly coming in over that flower pretty and then I'm just gonna lift up these wings a little bit these vellum ones and then I've got the pretty holiday rhinestones they come in several different colors here but I thought the gold ones would be just really pretty on here and I like that there's three different sizes here so we can take them up and from small to big like the edge of the circle is is doing there so I'm going to start off with a small one and then a medium Get back there. I probably need to roll out some more of the putty. There we go. All right, there it is. Very quick and easy card, but super pretty. And we didn't put an, a greeting on the outside, so you could use this for many different occasions. But I chose fluttering by just to say hi. I thought that went cute with the dragonfly. So I hope you like it. And here's the first one I did. See, the paper was a little bit different, so I didn't have the advantage of having that flower right in the middle of it um, for the dragonfly. So I set him back a little bit, more so than I did on this one where I put him more towards the middle of the circle. But the flower was um, giving us that advantage on this one. So very fun, very easy. I put my rhinestones a little closer together on that one. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. So if you'd like to shop for that set, again, there is the address to my shopping site and the March host code. And the set again is called Dragon Garden, Dragonfly Garden. And you can combine it with the punch and save yourself 10% when you bundle the two together. And then there are um, there are some ribbons, I think, that go along with this. And then, of course, the pretty paper. All right. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. I will be back on... Tuesday with Tuesday Live at 5 over on YouTube on my channel there. And you can find me there as Janice Stamps also, just like here on Facebook. And I will see you again soon. In the meantime, happy stamping. Bye-bye.